Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know, like subscribe, and share to help support our channel. If you have not already done so, pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Currency Exchange Planner Companion, voted the number one pre- and post-RV planning tool for the dinar and cryptocurrency communities. Also, pick up your free blockchain-based secure Brave browser, and get paid in crypto to surf the internet today. There are many different ways to make money in crypto, the Brave browser is one of the easiest. Both the links are in the description box below this video. I would like everyone to know there is a huge event coming, do not have fear when you hear it mentioned. I am being reassured that there is no reason to fear at this event. We will be fine. This comes from a highly reliable source. We will be made aware of this event in the coming days, it will be made aware to all of you. You will know exactly what the event is when you hear it. It is a naturally occurring event that comes once in a lifetime, actually once in many 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 lifetimes, the last time this event happened was 4000 BC when you hear it, you will know, and everything going on will make more sense. Again, have no fear, for there is nothing to fear but fear itself. We are extremely close people, timing is everything at this point. Again, and I cannot overstate this, do not have fear. Everything is going to be fine. First article of interest for today. Rafa Dane Bank announces the online platform for advancing advances to employees. The Rafa Dane Bank announced, on Monday, that the platform of the online system to present to the advances of employees endemic to their salaries with the bank and retirees who hold electronic cards issued by our bank has achieved advanced results during this period. The media office of the bank said in a statement received information, a copy of it, that it was decided to launch the platform of the electronic system for immediate presentation to the predecessors of employees and retirees through mobile and other electronic devices. The statement added that the employee or retired person can apply for advances from anywhere he is, whether from the home or from his department and by entering the electronic link. After entering the electronic link and filling in the information related to the coverage of the advance, and upon completion of filling in the fields mentioned in the electronic link with regard to applying for the advance, the employee or retired person will be notified by sending a text message that he receives on his personal mobile, notifying him of including the grant of the advance. He pointed out that, after the completion of this stage, the employee or retiree must wait for a very short period until he receives a message through his personal phone instructing to fill the financial balance to it for the advance through his electronic card. Next article of interest. Deputy. The vote on the cabinet next week and the Zarfi government will pass by an overwhelming majority. MP Al Nasser Falawaka Faji, on Monday suggested that the parliament session will hold a vote on the cabins of Prime Minister-designate Adnan al-Zorfi and pass it by an overwhelming majority, denying the existence of any agreement on an alternative candidate from the bloc's opposing al-Zorfi. al, al said in an interview with al Masala that the mechanisms through which Prime Minister-designate Adnan al-Zorfi was entrusted are constitutional and legal mechanisms and can only be revoked through constitutional verses which is setting a date for a session to vote with approval or rejection of the government booth and the government curriculum of the taxpayer. al Faji added that al Rafi submitted a request to hold a meeting to vote on the ministerial cabinet, which we expect to be next week to complete the preventive measures in light of the exceptional health conditions we are living in today due to the corona epidemic. al Faji added that all that is proposed about the agreement of the parties objecting to al Zarfi is an alternative candidate for him, our just attempts to pressure and mix the papers and there is no agreement until the moment on any candidate, stressing that the Zarfi government will pass by an overwhelming majority due to the clear desire of most of the representatives to change and bring in a strong and capable government to bring the country to safety in light of the current challenges. Next article of interest. Finance Minister, closed meeting to fund Iraq in the face of Corona. Finance Minister Fuad Hussein participated in a closed meeting aimed at financing Iraq in the face of the Corona pandemic. 
Hussein said in a tweet on his Twitter account. I participated in a meeting via closed-circuit television to discuss the economic and financial situation and the implications of falling oil prices on the Iraqi economy and study some proposals to overcome the crisis. Hussein added, we also discussed the meeting in which the ambassadors of the United States and Britain and the representative of the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund participated in addition to the Undersecretary of the Minister of Health, the corona pandemic crisis and the steps taken to support the health sector in Iraq to contain this dangerous epidemic. Next article of interest. The Digital Dollar Project names 22 new advisory group members. The Digital Dollar Project announced its first advisory group members, who will help guide the framework for practical steps that could be taken to establish a U.S. central bank digital currency, CBDC. A partnership between Accenture and the Digital Dollar Foundation, the Digital Dollar Project was created to encourage research and public discussion on the potential advantages of a CBDC or a digital dollar. The project will identify options for a CBDC solution to help enhance monetary policy effectiveness and financial stability, provide needed scalability, security and privacy in retail, wholesale and international payments, and integrate with existing financial infrastructures, including U.S. Federal Reserve-related projects. The Digital Dollar Project's 22 new advisory group members a list of whom can be found at www.digitaldollarproject.org include prominent business people, economists, former regulators, technology luminaries and educators who represent a cross-section of distinguished experts in the fields of banking, capital markets, international standards, anti-money laundering, monetary policy, national security, and privacy and property rights. The Digital Dollar Project will explore design options and approaches for a CBDC through a deliberative process, including stakeholder meetings, roundtable discussions and open forums. The project is headed by J. Christopher, Chris, Giancarlo, former chair of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFDC, Charles Giancarlo, an entrepreneur, investor and executive who is currently CEO of Pure Storage and Daniel Gore Fine, founder and CEO of Gotaka Horizons LLC, adjunct professor of law at the Georgetown University Law Center, and former chief innovation officer at CFTC. The insights and expertise of the new advisory group members will be invaluable as we work together to help make the dollar a more effective and smarter currency in an increasingly digital global economy, said Chris Giancarlo. Welcoming these first advisors and holding our first official meeting held virtually were critical objectives for the project. We look forward to having others join as significant contributors to our efforts. Accenture is the lead architect and technology innovation partner of the not-for-profit Digital Dollar Foundation, which was launched earlier this year. We believe that a central bank digital currency will be an important building block for a more inclusive efficient and effective global financial system, said David Dreet, a senior managing director at Accenture who leads its blockchain practice globally. This impressive group of advisory members will help us chart a course for the modernization of our financial systems. The project's next step will be to develop a white paper proposing core elements and the value proposition of a digital dollar, which the group plans to release in the next two months. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest videos are posted. Be sure to check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter as I also update on those platforms as well. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Exchange Planner Companion before you leave. Use the promo code. The Denarian to get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. This program is made so even low-income people can buy gold, by offering it one gram at a time, which makes it affordable to everyone.
Get involved today. It's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. All of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video. Go check them out. Knowledge is power. Using that knowledge is powerful. Over and out for now. The Denarian.